Well, Bangkok is uh, similar to most capital city, yeah, where you have a uh, very high density and very difficult to find cheap land. And any accessible land, which means if you have the infrastructure system uh, reaching out wherever, all that land will become expensive. Yeah? Uh, therefore, the only possibility for the poor to stay is to encroach. Yeah? Uh, you add into the existing slum area. You rent a room or rent a house or whatever. Uh, otherwise, you stay on the vacant plot next to the big factory where nobody can see you. <laughs> yeah? But anyway, all together in Bangkok, you have about a thousand uh, community of this type. Yeah? Old rental, land rental, house rental, uh, squatters, small squatters, big squatters, and so on. So in some way, we can say that poor people find land all the time. <laughs> Poor people can acquire land, although it's illegal, but they're able to find here and there all the time. Yeah? So if we, we see that as uh, something interesting, probably if we support the people with uh, uh, a good, uh, uh, flexible funding and let them find the land, you know, we found in the housing project in which we support that people can find a lot of very really interesting land. Yeah? Either government land or private land. They, after they, they make a survey, they will start seeing a lot of pockets, land pockets. Then they would start seeing who are the owner of the land and so on. And we have the word called blind land which means these are the land which is not accessible, it's in the middle of the big, big alley and so on. But then they found that the owner want to sell it in cheap price, or this particular land owned by the, that particular government organization who doesn't seem to do anything on this land. So different kinds of land from the land survey they found, they start negotiating. And some of them quite possible, yeah. And this is the way people are able to acquire the unused land and to make a po possible housing project. Developer-led uh, housing is always expensive, yeah? as we uh, experience in the community manage or community construction uh, housing project, we found that the price of that housing project is always about half of contractor price. Yeah? And because people link together, they have a, a, a social structure, a stronger social cohesion, social structure, and that uh, social process can reduce the cost of housing. Yeah? by working together and because people uh, will not charge a very high labor cost. Huh? Uh, they, they will try to buy the material together in cheap price. They will find all the way that construction be done in such a way that it's not too expensive, although they have skilled workers who help them. So with all that uh, social process uh, in, in the housing construction, it could reduce the price. And that's very really significant because poor people don't have the money. You don't have the money, you have to find all the way that the price of proper housing is reduced. And we can say that it's about half price, same as in the Philippines. They found that the price is about half. Therefore, if the private sector want to build the, say, lower standard housing, it means the standard will have to be lower than what the people are doing. Because the price of construction per square meter will be uh, more expensive, could be double huh? uh, what, what people could offer. This is one. The second one is on the, the, the social system. Uh, this is a very, very important issue because housing development is not only 
a physical development. We also need a, a social development. You also need a social political linkages be, between this community and other community and the city and uh, 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 also develop the welfare system, the income generation activities and so on. It's a way to build community. It's not just a, a chill. Huh? You just stay in isolation, yeah? which is the case of most of the private sector housing. You only have the, the body without any soul, you know. So people just stay there and for the poor, if you live in isolation like that, it's very really difficult for their life. If you seek, what's going to happen? If you cannot pay, what happened? You see a lot in the government public sector housing. When you can pay for three months, they cut the water, electricity, for instance. So after you pay for so many months or many years, if suddenly you have an accident and you cannot pay, it means you're out. Yeah? But in the group housing process, where we organize uh, socially and with the community fund and so on, there is a flexibility of this. Huh? And you have the group financial system, or the group process to help protect, to help facilitate, to help uh, in the time of crisis. And there is a welfare system in which the, the children can have a, a bit of money for the scholarship. If the mother has to go to work, you can leave your children with the neighbor and so on. So it's more than just physical houses. And that's crucial for the poor because poor people mean the people who cannot have the income up to the uh, standard level. Therefore, they need to help each other. Yeah? And, and we have to translate that social help, social system into a part of the housing activities. And that's it's not something the private sector can offer. Yeah, there must be some uh, appropriate or good density, yeah? which uh, would make a, a good relationship of the people who live together. With too high density, I, I have seen slum, some slum earlier, or even the housing project. If you have, say, the walkway of two meter, and it's so crowded, the clouding, physical clouding situation. Um, make it very difficult, you know. A lot of things, very intense, the way they use the open space for cooking, for the children are playing and the, the motorbikes are trying to pass on that and people are walking, you know. Which means that the intensive needs for such a small space must, must, make, must have made people uh, feel a little headache. Yeah? And it should have some effect, yeah. So I, I feel that there's a need for some proper density also, which is not uh, too much. Huh? So the best way is to talk and to discuss and to find a, a socially planned, socially management, uh, a collective management system and uh, you live like a big family you know, uh, in, in a social cluster. You know? Uh, something like that, yeah? with a good discussion and understanding, I think uh, that, that, that can be the way to deal with it. Yeah? It has to be rather high density one way or the other, but we have to deal with the physical uh, situation, huh? how to plan it as properly as possible, how to cleaning the area, make more uh, plants or trees or a little open space for the children can play or, you know, that, that you have to find the element. And, and I think that in general, we're able to make it in every project. Huh? There, there are open space, community centers, and all this kind of thing. It's possible to decide, yeah? no matter how de high density it is. Yeah.